Dominica is a very unusual island. Uh, it's the most mountainous island in the Caribbean. It was the last island in the Caribbean to be colonized, so its history is really very recent. Uh, and it is known as the nature island of the Caribbean. Uh, because of its topography, it's been able to maintain its wonderful forests, masses of rivers, and uh, because it shelves so sharply into the ocean, it has remarkable coral reefs, and the whales come very close to the coast of the island. So on a number of levels, it's a very unusual Caribbean island. Dominica is a, a new project for us this year, so we started this, uh, this year in 2014. Um, it's our first terrestrial island project in, in the Caribbean. We're really focused on island biogeography and the, the impact of invasive species and the problems that they can cause for, for conservation. This is the only trip I'd ever heard of that incorporated high school students into data collecting. And everything else was an educational tour, but this was scientific research, which of course got me very excited because I'm a scientist. So I thought, oh God, this is awesome. My expectations were very high and it's met all of those expectations, really. It's pretty much exactly what I had hoped for. The kinds of skills that the students are going to be getting are maybe the same things that they've learnt about in the classroom, but this time it's, it's really hands-on, so they're actually getting you know, their, their hands on microscopes and they're, they're measuring animals and they're, they're learning about the, you know, the types of measurements that are really important to, to make and why that whole data collection process is so valuable and so important to get right. Uh, they'll be learning new techniques, things like electrofishing that they've probably never even seen or, or maybe never even heard of before, but also applying sort of standard techniques uh, that, as well, just gaining um, information like mass and, and, and size data on, on animals that's really, really important. There's not a huge amount known about the freshwater ecosystems here. Um, and a lot of the records are very old. So what we're hoping to do is produce a baseline in order to really facilitate research in future years. I'm really interested in invasive crayfish. We're hoping to uh, assess just how far an invasive species of crayfish has spread that we believe has been introduced to Dominica. So far we haven't found it, uh, which is great news. Um, most of the students have never seen a bird that close, so to actually have them in the hand and to show them the details and the feathers and how tiny birds are, you know, I mean, birds can look really small, but when you see a hummingbird in the hand and you really see how tiny it is, it's quite spectacular. Every student that I see that walks away from one of the mist netting opportunities really walks away saying, wow, I have a new appreciation for birds and a new love for birds, so that is always really special for me. When I read about it, it almost seemed like too good to be true. And so, I mean, it's, it's definitely lived up to every expectation I've had. Uh, canyoning was way more awesome than I thought it, thought it would be or could be. I mean, it was so beautiful and I did not expect that. I thought it was just gonna be, I don't know, sort of dull, dull canyon that we were just gonna rappel through, but it was, it was so much more amazing than I could have even imagined. And I think that theme has carried through the rest of the trip. One of the great things here is that the students are working with experts in their field, um, scientists that are here, specifically because they want to do science in Dominica. The value that students get is to actually work with those scientists on projects that they um, are very, very passionate about and that really rubs off on, on the, uh, the students that are coming out and they get so much out of that experience.
The students are transferred over to Fort Shirley uh, and Cabritz National Park via a well launching transfer. So we're looking, using hydrophones, looking uh, for sperm whales especially, but they've got 22 species of cetaceans that they find off the coast here. Um, at Fort Shirley, the students are either doing an open water course, students who are already certified and those who are snorkeling are doing a reef ecology course. They're working on identification of algae, of coral, of invertebrates and of fish, and then also learning a few survey methods and what Operation Wallacea is doing for marine research around the world. So moving forward, we really want to start developing the projects that we've started this year to be able to predict what may happen in the future and try and think about different conservation management strategies that might be appropriate here. 